Good morning or good whatever time it is you happen to be watching this video. Perhaps during the slew of news yesterday, the Pixel 8, Pixel 8 Pro, Pixel Watch 2, all of that excitement, perhaps you missed the fact that Android 14 has been officially released. What does that mean? Well, it means other OEMs like Samsung who have been running their own betas are now pretty much free to wrap up their beta and push out their final public release of Android 14. It also means those of us using Pixel devices should be able to go to our system updates and install Android 14 and have a brand new version of the operating system to play around with. Now, of course, I've already talked about the Android 14 beta a ton. I've shown you a lot of the new features coming with this public release, and I'll kind of briefly go over that here in just a moment. But first, I want to clear up a couple of points of confusion, maybe you could say, from the community that I'm seeing. This morning, I get up Twitter, my own comments, Reddit. There are tons of threads asking basically the same two questions. So we're going to try to answer those. Question number one is, I'm checking for an update and I'm not seeing it. Well, that is something that is to be expected. It's rolling out. You may not see it straight away. However, if you want to go ahead and install it, I already have a video on this. You can check the description down below. There's a link to a video that will show you how to sideload these sorts of Android updates. You can download them, plug your Pixel into your computer, boot into a special mode on your phone and sideload that update. It's actually my preferred way to update a Pixel because it is so much faster than doing it the official way. And you can just jump to the front of the line. You don't have to worry about waiting for this to roll out. So if you want to do this, you think you're capable of doing it, it's really quite easy, but I guess there are ways you could possibly mess it up. Just follow the instructions and you should be okay. Link to that is in the description down below. Question number two is, why do I not have feature X on my device? The biggest one is the aspect ratio feature, the ability to, to manually force apps to resize, to stretch on your Pixel Fold. And this is something that I guess I can kind of understand where the confusion is. The way that these betas typically work is we would get Android 14 beta 1, maybe beta 2, 3, 4, 5, and then in this case, 5, 1, 5, 2, and 5, 3. After that, you get the stable release of Android 14. And then after that, you would get the QPR1 beta. QPR is the quarterly platform release. Google puts out quarterly a platform release for Android. In this case, things got weird. We went through all the Android 14 betas, and then instead of this stable release of 14 being released, we instead got QPR1 and then the stable version of Android 14 was released. So people are assuming 14 is the final build of QPR1. It's not, it's the final build of Android 14 beta 5.3. QPR1 is what is next, right? So we're gonna have QPR1, 2, 3, and then maybe sometime around December, we're going to have the quarterly platform release. And that is where these new features are likely to be publicly released. So if you just installed Android 14, you did not install the final version of QPR. You are on an entirely different track and those features, the ones when you see my videos talking about QPR 1 and here are the new features, that is not coming on the stable release. That is a different thing that will be stable closer to December. So hopefully that clears up some of those misconceptions. All right, so let's go over some of the changes that are in Android 14. I'm not going to go over all of them, just a few that stand out. And in fact, I'm going to drop a link down below to a video where I've kind of gone a little bit more in depth on these. So there are some pretty cool things. So first off is the fact that some of these widgets that used to be broken on the Pixel Fold are now fixed. Ones like digital well-being and the weather widget used to not work right. They'd look okay on the cover display. You'd open it up and they would not look correct. They would resize and do weird things. That is fixed. If you jump into your wallpaper and style, frankly, I don't remember what it used to look like, but I think that this has been pretty well redesigned. You should be getting this new version of this screen. So that's going to help you customize things. If you jump over to your lock screen, you can see all of these different lock screen clock styles. I've been using that one for a little while now, which looks pretty good. If you jump into battery, you should now also be able to see how many or how much time has been spent on your screen since last full charge. It's early. I've just started using my phone since only 17 minutes. And then if you go to notifications, you should also see the ability to flash notifications. What this is going to do 
is it's gonna make it so that when you get a notification, you're going to get exactly that. My LED flash went off, the screen flashed blue. This is a great accessibility feature, and it may also sort of fill that need for an LED for notifications or something like that. One more I'll point out that I thought was cool that I didn't actually mention in my prior video is what they're calling a monochrome theme. You can see they're just black and white. I think that was on my phone. I just don't think I've actually tried it, so I figured I would show it to you on their video. Something else that is freshly rolling out though is the dual screen interpreter mode for the Pixel Fold. So you can have exactly what you're seeing here. The outer display is showing them their language, the inner display is showing you your language, and that is a pretty cool thing. The ability to detect USB cables, are they bad cables and are charging well, they're charging too slowly, you're gonna know about that. Kids Space, a streamlined navigation bar for kids to use on the Pixel tablet. Like I said, there are lots of potential cool features coming. I'll go ahead and drop a link to Google's video down there as well so you can watch that and see as much information as you possibly can. But guys, that's where we are. 14 is out. You don't have the QPR1 features. You know how to sideload it if you have to. Hopefully everybody's up to speed now. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.